Best stay out of sight. Talking in circles may work on others, Socrates, but not on me. I don't speak in circles or any other shape. You answered one of my questions and that brought another to mind. And another. Ooh, and another. Alexios! I knew you'd change your mind after turning me down. Unfortunately, love must wait a little longer. Whatever you say. I hate to cut our conversation short, Socrates, but I believe you've talked enough for the both of us. We must find another use for that mouth of yours. Speak to him long enough, and you may find the smallest hint of knowledge veiled deep behind his uh, enthusiastic advances. <laughs> A compliment and an insult in the same sentence. He truly is gifted. You've arrived at the perfect time. I have a friend named Sophanes who wants to become an Athenian citizen, but he needs a bit of help. Your help. I can't wait to hear why it's my help he needs. Any Mystios would do, really, but you're my favorite. All you need to do is sign my friend's name on a little list. There has to be a reason Sophanes can't sign the list himself. Well, he would, but he isn't nearly as uh, able as you are. 
Meaning... Meaning you have skills he doesn't possess. He'd fail if he tried on his own. Why Athens? Surely he's a citizen somewhere else already. Everyone wants to be an Athenian citizen, even if they don't say so. Sophanes has a mind for politics, but can only participate as a citizen. I didn't realize you had a list of mercenaries you favor. And I'm at the top? Of course you are. Although, if you ask nicely, I would happily let you be on the bottom. This sounds simple. Now tell me why it isn't. There's this small matter that you'll have to enter the Metrul, where you're not allowed, and forge his name well enough, of course. So he's trying to become a citizen illegally. You should have led with that. I'll try to remember that the next time. The building you're looking for is near the Agora. Be safe. This area will be well defended. You want to start trouble? You shouldn't be here! There. His name's been signed. Time to get back to Alcibiades. My favorite Mystios returns. And with good news, too. My favorite kind. You did it, then? Of course I did. Sophanes' name is now on the citizen list. Perfect! I knew you were the right Mystios for the job. Now that you forged my friend's name on the citizen's list, there's one more thing that needs to be done. Next time you want me to do two things, tell me both at the same time. The second is dependent on the first. I needed to know it was complete. I didn't expect you to get so upset about it. Just tell me what you need. Unfortunately, getting Sofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen. He also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship. So you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Peros. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect! I knew you'd be willing to help. There must be a good reason we can't be witnesses. Of course. The witness must be an Athenian citizen, but it can't be a friend. Be careful with Peros, though. It's easy to lose oneself in his gaze.
If there's more after this, I want to know now. Of course, this should be the last thing. Should? I mean is. Time to find Peros. He's often around the Justice Building on the east side of the Agora. And I just... ask him to help? Peros needs to say that the parents of Sofanis were both Athenian. How you get him to do it is up to you. That's the guy Alcibiades called handsome? Can't say I agree with him. You tell Theon I'm not giving him any more. If he wants to talk to me, he can come himself. I'm not here about debts. Well, uh, what do you want then? There's a man trying to become an Athenian citizen. You're going to be his witness. Me? Why? Because Alcibiades said you're the one to do it. Ah, Alcibiades. He is persistent. And who is this man I meant to help? His name is Sophanes. Sophanes? I know that name well. I won't help you though, not for him. I don't know him. Why don't you want to help? Drumistios never get all the information up front. Sophanes betrayed his men for Drachmi. He deserves death, not citizenship. Ah, look, it isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do. You're going to help, but it's your choice how bloody you are when you do. Or, maybe I'll go to Theon and see if he'll pay me to get what you owe him. You can't threaten me and expect to get what you want. You'll regret that. Eat this. That's enough. I'll do what you want. Even after all Sofani's did, he gets another chance. Is that the only role you know? You present yourself one way, but it's as if you fear showing your true self. I've told you, Socrates, I'll gladly show you my true self. Just say the word. My point is proven so easily. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll get another chance to speak soon. 
You've returned. Socrates too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Yes, he just needed a little push. Ah, I was worried about that. Well, you did the right thing. You kept information from me. Information that would have been nice to know. I believe people like Sofanes deserve second chances. I didn't think what he did mattered to you. Next time, let me decide what matters to me. Understood. I should give Sofanes the news. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? A person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad? How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? We can't. One thing I've learned is people are unpredictable. It's what makes my job so hard sometimes. If what you say is true, we can either hope we are right and that people will be good, or limit the risk by not giving people like Sofanis a chance. I wonder then if bad actions can reverse good or good actions can reverse bad. Perhaps we can speak on that another time. Thank the gods. that impression the lapdog. I wonder how many scraps Hermipos has received from Cleon's table. Hermipos has gone too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. Yet, we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done seemly things to Hermipos? How dare you compare me to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. 
Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates, else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Hermippus should say what he wants? They're only words. Hermippus should be able to say what he wants. No matter what he says? What if he devoted his life to slandering you? Not just in Athens, but throughout the land. Saying what he wants doesn't mean he would escape my spear. Then everything we say has a consequence, even if we are allowed to say it. Uh, an intriguing thought, wouldn't you agree? If you have such an issue with Hermippus, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to, but I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It can't be that hard to find Hermippus. That's what I thought as well. Maybe he's afraid I'll find him. Once Hermippus is in front of you, what are you going to say? I'm not entirely sure yet, but I promise you it will be a grand spectacle. It almost sounds like you're jealous of Hermippus. Ha! Huh. Me? Envious of him? Making someone sad is easy, but making someone laugh takes true skill and talent. Wherever Hermippus is, I'll find him. I hope you do. His residence would be a good place to start. I should try to stay out of sight. Doesn't look like army poses here. I should take a look around. This is a lot of money for someone like Hermippus. Explains his residence, at least. <coughs> Looks like Cleon made notes for Hermippus on his play. Everyone's a writer. Mask from the Cult of Cosmos. Ermipos must be a member.
I've got a light! Shit! I couldn't find Armipos, but I did find out something about him. He's a member of the Cult of Cosmos. Then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Armipos and the Cult, I'd imagine. Armipos is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. Ah. Yes, you deserve a play of your own. What is a leader if he hides behind the walls he built himself? Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city. Step aside.
Come on.